Hi everyone, this is Teacher Hasty, and today I'm gonna teach you how to activate your Microsoft Office 365 account by using your PNU Google account. So the first step that you have to do is to type into the Google search box free Microsoft 365 account and the first search result that will appear will show you a free Microsoft Office 365 for schools and students Microsoft dot 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 ayan so you just have to click that and that will lead you to a site that looks like this it has the link microsoft.com slash en dash us slash education slash products slash Office. So this is the entire website and then there's a heading here that shows Office 365 Education. So what you have to do is to scroll down a bit and enter your PNU email address as you can see on my tutorial. So Microsoft will ask you if you're a student or a teacher, so choose I'm a student. You were given the PNU email account because you're a PNU student. So you will now be prompted to enter your personal details into the form fields. So you just have to complete that. You will also be prompted to create your password. There's even a suggested password right here. But you can create one that's your own. So there's also a prompt here that you have to use special characters, uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers as a combination to create a strong password. Next step is to enter your verification code. So you have to check now your PNU email account that's uh, Gmail or Google as the tenant. So now we're heading to my PNU Gmail account so that we can see my verification code and that which we will enter into the form field required by Microsoft. So sign in using your PNU account and you can see now that Office 365 sent you a verification code. Just copy that and paste that to the form field and then set your country and then tick the check boxes here microsoft may send me promotions and offer about microsoft products and services for businesses and you would like microsoft to share your information with select partners so you can receive relevant information about their products and services to learn more or to unsubscribe at any time view the privacy statement so you can just tick those check boxes and then click the start button just below the form and Microsoft will already create your account. So you can save your password if you're that kind of person who saves passwords into internet browsers. Yeah, and so Microsoft now invites more people and finishes your sign up. So you just have to wait for a while while Microsoft finishes setting up your account. So now, more information will be required from you. Your organization needs more information to keep your account secure. And with that, you just have to click Next. Do not lose access to your account. That is why you will have to set now your authentication phone and authentication email. So this is like the two-step verification that you have to do so that you can be secure that your account will not be hacked or hacked by somebody else. And I'm entering my phone number. After I enter my phone number, I have to check now on my phone whether the code is sent already. Ayan. So authentication phone is already set. So now, next up, we have to set up our authentication email. So I'm using my DepEd Microsoft 365 email given by the central office and then open that email to find the verification code sent by Microsoft. So I already received the verification code and click finish. So ayan. We can now opt to stay signed in. 
So now we're being headed to the Microsoft Office 365 homepage. Welcome and let Office 365 help you get your classwork done. So you can take notes and stay organized with OneNote notebooks. You can brainstorm together in Word. Documents are always with you when you save to OneDrive. Work anywhere with Office 365 on web, desktop, and mobile. Yeah, and so we're now at the Office 365 homepage. And there's a link here that prompts you to install your software. So I'm not going to install that to my device right now because this has a Windows 7 operating system. So I'm not going to use it. So here are the other apps that you can explore as you work your way into Microsoft 365. So we have OneDrive, Excel, OneNote, Teams, Word, PowerPoint, SharePoint, and Sway. You can also have access to them at the sidebar right here. Also, you can change your account details by clicking My Account with your initials on the upper right part of the screen you can edit your office profile your account or you can opt to sign out and you can also add a profile picture for your account what's the difference between office 365 office 2019 and office online office 365 is a subscription plan for a low monthly or yearly cost, you get the latest version of Office that's always up to date with the newest features and security. You can install Office on all your devices and be signed into five at a time. With your subscription, you get a terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage that's accessible from just about anywhere. That's a lot of storage, about 300,000 images or a million documents. With your files on OneDrive, you can start a document on your tablet, make edits on your smartphone, and finish on your Mac or PC. The Office mobile apps for your tablets and smartphones can be installed for free, but you get more features with your subscription. There are different subscription plans for Office 365. If you want Office for just yourself, you can buy a personal subscription. If you want to share your subscription with friends or family members, you can buy a home subscription. This lets you share with up to five people, and each person gets all the same benefits. Everyone gets the latest version of Office, everyone can install on all their devices, and everyone gets their own terabyte of storage. Office 2019 is a one-time purchase of Office that can be installed on one PC or Mac. You'll get security updates, but no new features or tools. This means when the next major version of Office is released, You'll need to buy it again to get any new features. Finally, there's Office Online. Free, lightweight versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and more that anyone can use from a browser. This means you can open files on devices that don't have Office installed. You can even collaborate on files with someone who doesn't own Office. Just sign in at office.com to get started with Office Online. So, three versions of Office. Which will you choose?